Okay, so this is a totally random clip from a totally random day that I'm probably just gonna throw into a blog somewhere because I wanted to show you guys a few things that I picked up from Target and Ulta. Um, I was out of town and so I ordered a few things before I left and then um, picked up a thing, few things while I was gone that I just thought I would show you. So, um, first things first, I went to Target and I got this Pacifica Stress Rehab. Um, face mask. This is my one of my favorite face masks. I just really like the way that the caffeine feels on your skin. Like it's almost like tingly, invigorating. Like you just feel like it's working. So I really love this. So I grabbed one of those. Um, I thought I was gonna do it while I was out of town, but I didn't. But now I just have it. I also was just kind of like bopping around with my sister and wanted to try this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I feel like I've heard so many things about it but never bought it. I'm kind of like on the Hula kick right now. Um, I'm loving Hula bronzer and I have a couple of shades and I like both of the ones that I have. Um, this is the one, this is the sun kissed shade. It smells like straight coconut and like sunscreen. <laughs> um, and the thing that I like about this for one, this is a little lighter than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping to go like for a darker shade, but that's okay. I can always grab another shade. Um, it feels really soft and buttery, just kind of sticking my finger in it, but it does have a slight sheen to it, which is nice. Like if you're kind of, if you want just a little bit more glow and you're not um, feeling that dead winter matte look. So I picked that up. Um, the other two things that I grabbed were just this fat little Vaseline lip therapy. I used to have a ton of these and don't know what happened to them all. So I grabbed another one. And then this is my all time favorite drugstore mascara. This is the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is a really good dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is like my favorite high end or yeah, whatever. Um, mascara but this one doesn't dry out as fast i found that my issue with the Too faced one is that it dries out so quickly like two weeks and it's clumpy and chunky um and this i've had better luck with and i really really love it so that's what i got from target and then i picked up a few things from ulta online um the first thing that i got is this becca under eye brightening corrector i got the medium to deep um shade I think, I'm sure you guys have probably heard me talk about this. This is like one of my favorite products ever of all time, um, especially in the last year. I've gone through like three of these and I just put this underneath my concealer or wear it on its own if I'm having a super light to no makeup day, just kind of brightens. I should have put it on um, this morning before I went to the airport, but um, it just gives a really nice brightening effect to the eyes, kind of cancels out these um, dark circles. It's a holy grail product for me for sure. So I had to get another one because I ran out And then for some reason I've just been obsessed with Becca lately. So I decided to try a couple more products that I'd never tried before um, I'm working on or I'm trying to find a new concealer. I've been loving the color pop um, I'm not sure what which one it is because I know that they have a couple, but I'm afraid that it's being discontinued because when I went to Ulta, all of them were on sale for like $3 and it's like a $6 concealer and it's amazing. Um, but they were all on sale. So a bunch of colors were sold out. So I'm curious to see if they're discontinuing it. Anyways, I digress. This Becca, this is the Becca ultimate coverage Longwear concealer. Um, I ordered this online, so I was afraid I was gonna pick a color that wasn't, that didn't really suit me, but this is the color Caramel, and it's, and it's fine. I like the color. Um, I could go a little bit brighter, I think, like one shade lighter, but that's okay. Um, my only thing is like this concealer is super full coverage. Um, and so it's just a little challenging to work with. I don't feel like I work with a ton of really full coverage products. So I think I'll just have to play around and maybe apply this with a brush versus a sponge, like kind of play around with it that way. 
because I'm not 100% because I'm not 100% sure how to like make it work for me but it is really full coverage the one time that I wore it I felt like it creased but that could also be like user error so I've just got to figure out and work with it and see how I can make that work for me then I got the Becca under eye brightening setting powder clearly I love a bright under eye um, I've been using the hourglass um, setting powder forever probably for over a year because that container is huge um, and I like it but it doesn't really give me like I just feel like it, it doesn't add to um, the concealer normally so I wanted something that was specifically brightening because I really do like to keep a really bright under eye um, I've only tried it once and it was with this concealer and I did feel like this concealer creased so I wasn't sure if it was the powder or I just need to work with it a little bit more. Maybe if I'm gonna wear this concealer then I don't wear this underneath it. Um, so we'll see, I'm playing with it all. So I will give you guys a full in-depth review once I've kind of toyed around with it and figured out how I like to wear it. Um, and then I also got just this the Anastasia eyebrow pencil this is one with the spoolie on the end and the angled brush I've been like this has been in my cart and I've like had it in my hand before at the store and somehow just never bought it um, so I got that and then just a brow whiz I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times this is my favorite brow pencil and I'm also using the brow like the duo powder by Anastasia this is in medium brown um, so I just wanted to kind of, like I've been using the powder on its own, I've used the Brow Wiz on its own, and I just wanted to kind of see how I could play with the two and what kind of a final product and end result I would get using both. Um, like the, the using the Brow Wiz kind of to shape in here and like the tail and using the powder to fill in. I think I saw someone do that when I was watching a video and I really liked the way that it turned out. So. I wanted to try and then I also got this Clinique take off the day balm because I've heard so many things about it and this came in the mail before like right before I left on my trip and so I couldn't take it with me because I was just bringing a carry-on and this is huge so when I got um, when I got there I um, needed to go to Ulta to pick up some other things so I actually Got this in the checkout. This is a little travel size guy. I a little baby and a big baby. Um, and so yeah, I'll just take this one with, my, with me when I travel. Keep this one at home. Yay. The main reason that I went to Ulta um, was because I didn't have a travel sized Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So I picked this up. This is seriously this and the Morphe Setting Spray. I love both of them. Um, I had done my makeup like twice without this and it just looked cakey and like unfinished. And I just feel like setting spray has a really awesome way of obviously setting your makeup, but really just like helping everything kind of melt into the skin. Please stop. Um, so I had to get one of those or else I would have died. And then I also needed a lipstick. So I just got this NYX um, soft matte lip cream in, I think it's Zurich is how you pronounce that. Z-U-R-I-C-H, Zurich. Zurich, Zurich, I don't know. But this is just a really pretty, like pinky nude. Nothing too wild. It's kind of, it's very similar to the shade of my lips um, naturally. So that is everything I got. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Um, I'm gonna keep working with these two products and let you guys know what I think about those. I would love to do like an updated kind of like everyday makeup routine. So make sure to comment down below and give this video a like if you want to see that. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we are in fact continuing this vlog. I just got to Ikea and um, I just put my phone because that's easier and I am here to pick up a desk and I really want one of those like plants <laughs> a plant I want a plant um so yeah that's what we're doing let's go inside 
I haven't been to an Ikea in a while. This is probably my first time ever at an Ikea by myself. Doesn't seem like it's too crazy. It's Sunday at like 4.30. So let's take on this little adventure. I got like one second of footage in there. I have the desk in the back. It was almost a fail because I only grabbed one leg, but the checkout guy was like, do you need two legs? And I was like, I do, I think I do. And then I got in the elevator to come down to the parking garage. Um, was too scared to ask the woman next to the buttons to press my button. So I waited till she got off and then I pressed the P2 parking two level, the second level button, but somehow ended up back on the main floor where I'd start. Anyways, like I said, it's in the back. That freaking Alex drawer probably weighs like 75 pounds. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that upstairs. Um, but we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna put it together and it's gonna be great. moving, organizing, building situation to show you guys my cute little outfit today. I'm so proud of this. My little sister helped me um, put this together and everything is from American Eagle, the whole outfit, except for my Converse are, Converse obviously, these little, these are the curvy mom jean and I am obsessed with these. I think they're so cute. They're like baggier, they're super high rise. They go above my belly button. Love the fun rips. This little tank top, um, it's kind of like a, almost like a wife beater type tank top. Again, from American Eagle. And then this super cute, like, what color even is this? I don't know, like brown, beige, tan, like little grandma sweater and I just felt like I looked like a cute little mom today yay and then these I kind of like to like roll them a little bit because I'm shorter but um, they are super like I love American Eagles curvy um, cut of jean because there's more room in the hip um, and in the butt, and these totally fit my waist. So, anyways, I was just really excited about this cute little outfit that I put together. Now we're gonna resume our regularly scheduled programming with putting this stuff together. Um, this box right here is freaking heavy. Um, this room is a little bit of a mess, as is this dog, um, but this is where the desk is gonna go with the computer, and then we're gonna get another taller, like I think the Alex 9 drawer, uh, eventually when Jake gets here with all of his like art supplies, and that's where that'll go. So, let's build.
and then this is the desk with um, everything on it. I haven't really filled the drawers yet. I have a box of like computer desk stuff that I need to unpack into there, but I also need to like go through it all. And you know, with the computer and everything on it, I really like it. Um, obviously these like pieces are not gonna stay like that. I just put them here for now. Um, and it looks pretty nice. I'm not mad about it, but I will show you guys like a full room tour kind of video and like more in depth desk storage and whatnot um, when this room is finished and I actually have a mattress in here like a real mattress and a comforter and it's all like decked out so look out for that um, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe bye